Te Wanakato, Flesh of the Gods in Nahuatl, is in fact peyote. He's a fool. It's just as the Spanish said, it's a mushroom, and I've seen it used. Well, Schultes knew that Te Wanakato was not peyote, but this clue opened his imagination. Opened his imagination. But this, then things got even more interesting because it turned out to be another team of explorers seeking the mystery of Tehuanacatl. So in a scenario right out of Indiana Jones, these two teams converge on this small village in the mountains of Ma the Mazatec country. And of course, Schultes was the one who found the mushrooms, the little ones that spring up. And the thread of that mystery was not picked up until after the war because many of the principals died during the war. And there was a curious banker called Gordon Wasson, married to a Russian, Russians love mushrooms. And they had concocted this theory that somewhere on earth there were people who worshiped mushrooms. They didn't know where, but somewhere this happened. And Robert Graves, the poet, sent Wasson, Schulte's 1940 paper, an American anthropologist, identifying Tehuanacatl as a mushroom. Wasson contacted Schultes. Wasson then, on Schultes' instruction, made a beeline for Wautla in Mazatec country. And in a famous moment, he became the first outsider actually to ingest the mushrooms in sacred context. There's nothing I can do with it. Is there something I can do with it? Could you get out of town? that cause strange visions. Well, if that wasn't the understatement of the century. Then the question became, um, uh, what's in these mushrooms? So Schultes and Wasson got hold of about 64 mushrooms and they sent them to uh, this man, Albert Hoffman, at Sandoz Laboratories. And Albert um, divided the stash into half and fed half to his dog. Uh, nothing happened. So he ate the other half and something did happen. Uh, his laboratory began to look like Mexico and he feared that he'd be washed away into the whirlwind of color. Now such an experience might have unnerved an ordinary scientist, but Hoffman was not of that sort. We have ignition, we have tremendous flame out there. All engines, and we have liftoff. She's rising, she's yawing now to clear the tower, that slight yaw. Now the huge tail is passing the tower. She's lifting up, we have tower clear, we have tower clear. We're beginning to feel the first thunderous roar. And in 1943, he decided on a whim to make the 25th series of indole alkaloid derivatives 
in this protocol and as he was doing so his fingertips got a little bit numb and then his head began to swirl and he didn't have any gasoline so he went home on his bicycle and it turned out to be the most momentous bicycle ride in history because the substance that had gone through his skin was nothing less than lysergic acid diethylamide 25 LSD so on the way home Dr. Hoffman went on the world's first acid trip and so he was quite prepared to identify as he did psilocybin as the active ingredient of the mushrooms but then it came time to identify the second of the sacred plants that Schultes had found Ololuiki which turned out to be a morning glory which is precisely why in the summer of 1967 florists all over America experienced a run on morning glory varieties known as heavenly gates in fact I feel like I've tapped into ultimate energy it just flows went into the Mazatec area, far from the highways, remote from Mexico City. There we found that rotten bagas, as it's called, bagasso, covered with mushrooms. These mushrooms I didn't know, didn't never, had never seen. They were the sacred mushrooms. Lawson would also discover and record the ancient mystical rites of the mushrooms from a local shaman or magical priestess, Maria Sabina. And uh, we were seeing incredible sights. They would go slowly or they would go fast as I ordained. All your senses are rendered acute. We say that you see visions, you see hallucinations, but th that doesn't uh, begin to tell the story. The hallucinations are only part of it. You hear sounds, you smell things. The, the, the night was thrilling. Word of Wasson's discovery reached the CIA quickly. Dr. James Moore, a University of Delaware chemist, secretly served the CIA preparing deadly chemicals on short notice. Moore was instructed to get close to Wasson and accompany him on another trip to Mexico to get the magic mushrooms. Internal documents show the CIA felt a drug derived from the mushrooms could remain an agency secret. Mushroom mycelium represents rebirth, rejuvenation, regeneration. Fungi generate soil that gives life.
the task that we face today is to understand the language of nature. My mission is to discover the language of nature of the fungal networks that communicate with the ecosystem. And I, in particular, believe nature is intelligent. The fact that we lack the language skills to communicate with nature does not impugn the concept that nature is intelligent. It speaks to our inadequacy of our skill set for communication. We have now learned that there are these languages that are occurring and communication between each organism. If we don't get our act together and come in commonality and understanding with the organisms that sustain us today, not only will we destroy those organisms, but we will destroy ourselves. We need to have a paradigm shift in our consciousness. What will it take to achieve that? If I die trying, and but I'm inadequate to the task to make a course change in the evolution of life on this planet, okay, I tried. The fact is I tried. How many people are not trying? If you knew that every breath you took could save hundreds of lives into the future, had you walked down this path of knowledge, wouldn't you run down that path of knowledge as fast as you could? I believe nature is a force of good. Good is not only a concept, it is a spirit. And so hopefully the spirit of goodness will survive.